Hello, I'm Timothy Brown, Education and Community Engagement Manager at the Hartford Symphony Orchestra. Welcome to HSO To Go's Education page. Today's video features Rebecca Noreen, contrabassoonist with the HSO. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. I'm Rebecca Noreen, and I play the bassoon and contrabassoon. I'd like to tell you about those instruments. They are part of the double reed family. Uh, what, what is a double reed? Double reed is two pieces of cane that are put together with wire and string. See that? And then it's put on an instrument. This is a alto crumb horn used in the Renaissance times in the 15th century, long time ago. It's what double reeds came from. And it sounds like this. So that's an alto crumb horn. So they wanted something bigger that played lower. So they decided to get an instrument, make it really long, and call it the bassoon. You can remember that because ba bass, bass, bassoon. And it sounds like this. That's the lowest note, the B flat. Then they wanted to make it even bigger, to get even lower. And they decided to make a contrabassoon, which is twice as big as the bassoon. And this sounds like this. That's the lowest note, the low B flat, quite a bit lower. The bassoon is used in the orchestra mostly as a base of the woodwinds, the lowest sound of the woodwinds. And it is also can be used for solos, much like cellos are used with strings with solos sometimes. It can be a very beautiful instrument. Then the contrabassoon is used many times because it adds a power and a depth to the whole orchestra. It is used mostly with the whole orchestra and not really as a solo instrument. But it is very important. Beethoven, in his fifth and ninth symphony, decided at the very end of those symphonies to add contrabassoon for extra power for the finale. So the main difference between these two is, of course, everything is bigger on the contrabassoon. See the reeds are bigger? See what those? They look much like that reed that I played on the alto crumb horn, and they have this string. And the length of the tube is much bigger. This goes around four times. This just doubles itself once. And this goes around many, many times. The size of the bore, you see the opening to that, how big that is? Well, the opening to the bassoon, it's still pretty big but it's not that big. And the breath that you need to play the contrabassoon, it has to be really big. I have to go <gasps> and take a really large breath to play it. Whereas the bassoon, you can play it just normal. But I'm not real big. And so it's how you use your breath, how you use your muscles to play that really matters. So I'm going to play for you on the bassoon, I'll play a little, play a little song. The bassoon. And now for the contrabassoon.
the contrabassoon.